Hey everybody, it's Liz. What's going on? I am making a video right now to talk about my experience moving from the Midwest to Los Angeles, California. I've had a lot of you message me and ask me how I ended up in LA, so I thought I would tell my story. I was born and raised in Indianapolis, Indiana, um, and then I went to Indiana University, which is in lovely Bloomington, Indiana. And then after college, I stayed in Indianapolis, much to my dismay, and I got a job for Marriott, um, and I worked there for five years. It's hard when you're a few years out of college and your resume isn't that built yet to think about making a big change because you don't think that you're marketable. I spent a lot of time telling myself that it would be too hard to move from working at the Marriott to doing something completely different because nobody would want to hire me because I didn't have um, the right resume. Um, but the thing is, I had the skills. Finally, I believed in myself and I told myself that I was not going to die in Indiana, that I was going to move out because I always wanted to. Um, and so finally, I just set my mind to it and I knew I was gonna make it happen. From the time that I made up my mind that I was going to find a way to move to California no matter what, to the time that I actually moved, it was like two years, I would say. <laughs> um, it takes a long time and you just, you can't give up. I really didn't want to move here without a job, so I started right away applying for every job that I could find online. I reached out to everybody I knew who was out here um, trying to get recommendations to get a job. I would say that I probably applied for no less than 50, probably more, probably like 75 jobs. And I never got one interview from them for like an entire year. Finally, I was recommended by um, a second cousin of mine for this medical company and they offered me the job and I was, I, I can't even tell you, I was like, my dream came true. So to back it up a little bit, my original dream was always to move to San Francisco. So most of the jobs that I applied for were in the Bay Area, but this other job that I got recommended for just happened to be in LA. The thing is, I had never, I had never been to LA, not even once to visit, and I got a job offer there. <laughs> and of course I said yes. I accepted the job, and I booked a flight that weekend to fly out to LA for the first time ever uh, to find myself an apartment. I feel so grateful for the opportunity, and five years later, I still feel just as grateful to be living in LA as I did the very first weekend that I visited after getting my new job. A lot of people told me that I wouldn't like LA because uh, it was shallow and everybody was trying to get famous and that it was dirty and all kinds of things. And I'm glad that I did not listen to them because I freaking love this city and I actually think that I like it better than I would have liked living in San Francisco. Even though I love San Fran, I think I actually belong here and that things you know work out for a reason. I got super lucky because my little brother was dumb enough to offer to drive my car all the way across the country with my two cats um, so that I did not have to fly with them. And his poor girlfriend, who is now his wife, <laughs> went with him. Um, and actually, his wife is a, an amazing writer. Her name's Katie, and she wrote a hilarious story um, about their time. It took them like th over three days to drive from Indiana to California with two cats in the car. Um, and she wrote this amazing story and I'm going to post um, a blog along with this video and it's, there's going to be a link to her short story about that road trip and it's hilarious. You have to read it. If I can tell you anything, I know this sounds super freaking cheesy, but if you have a dream Stop making excuses because anything is possible. You just have to decide what's important to you. And if you set your mind to something, you can do anything. You could be on the beach in California with me. <laughs> I literally think about spending my days in a cubicle in Indianapolis thinking and dreaming of living in California and how amazing it would be. And no joke, 
like every single day I'm like I'm living the life that I dreamed about like exactly and I'm just so freaking grateful also just a side note I was going to make this video on Monday which is Labor Day but I got a kidney stone and I ended up in the hospital if any of you have ever had a kidney stone um, I now have like a newfound respect for that I had no idea how freaking painful a kidney stone was I literally gave birth to a tiny rock and it was like the worst experience ever okay to wrap up this video that is now gone in a different direction what I'm going to say is thank you for listening to me again uh, follow your dreams and um, I'm here to support you there's so many people in your lives that will support you um, there will also be naysayers that tell you you shouldn't do it it's not practical you can't but at the end of the day um, they will still love you and they will still support you because a lot of people told me that I couldn't or shouldn't do a lot of things that I've done a lot um, but I did them anyway and everybody's so proud of me and so um, go for it do it you're awesome um, stay tuned for the next video it'll probably be about something super gay since I've had two videos about things that aren't so thank you guys it's getting dark out here I'm in my backyard so I better wrap this up before um, it's pitch black